This is our Bible story that reflects fellowship. Esther was a star, a beautiful Jewish girl chosen by the king of Persia to be his queen. Esther had an uncle called Mordecai, who was very kind. When Esther's parents died, he raised her as his own daughter. And when she was made queen, he warned her not to tell the king that she had come from one of his captive lands. And so, the king was clueless. He loved Queen Esther, but he didn't know that she was a Jew. Haman was horrible. He was the king's right-hand man, and he loved nothing as much as pushing people around. One day, Haman was walking through the city when he met some of the king's other servants. Bow before me, horrible Haman commanded, and they bowed, all except for Mordecai. I will bow before no one but God, said Mordecai. Haman was furious and went straight to the king to seek his revenge. There is a troublesome race of people in our land, he said, who worship a different God. They are the Jews, your majesty. Give me your permission and I will do away with them. The king was clueless, so he told horrible Haman to kill every Jew in the land, not knowing that he was condemning his own queen. When Mordecai heard the news, he went to see Esther. Go to the king, he said, and do what you can to save us. But I have to wait for the king to invite me into his presence, Esther explained. If I go to him without his invitation, the law of the Persians says that he has the right to kill me. You must go anyway, said Mordecai, whatever the risk. God puts people in places at just the right time so they can do what he wants. God has put you in the palace to save your people. Esther was a star, so Esther went to see the king and far from being angry. The king was delighted to see her. What do you want, my darling? He asked. I want to have a dinner party, said Esther, and I want to invite your right-hand man, Haman. The king agreed. The date was set, and horrible Haman was happy. He'd been building a horrible hanging machine in his garden, where he'd hoped to murder Mordecai, and the queen's invitation made him happier still. But when he got to the party, horrible Haman was suddenly not so happy. I've had some sad news today, said the queen with tears in her eyes. Someone wants to see me dead, and not only me, but all of my people too. Who is this person, shouted the king. Tell me, and he'll, be, he'll soon be dead instead. There he is, said Esther, and she pointed at Haman. I don't understand, Haman trembled. I have nothing against you. Yes, you do, said Esther, for I am a Jew. And you mean to kill us all. The king was no longer clueless. He saw everything clearly now. He loved his queen. He did not care that she was a Jew. But he was very angry with Haman. Put him to death, the king ordered. And so Haman was hanged on his very own hanging machine. But Esther and Mordecai and all their people lived on. Lived on to return to their own land. And all because Esther was a star.